In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to track a lost or stolen Android phone using your Gmail account and a Windows PC, not a phone. So first of all, if you're watching my video for today, I'm very much sure you have misplaced your phone. So you're trying to see if uh, you could get help in tracking your device. I'm very sorry about your phone, but let's try and see if we could do something about this and help you track your lost or stolen phone. Now, the first thing is when you lose your phone, you panic, you you know go all over the place to see if you get your phone anywhere. That's quite normal. It's okay. But uh, the main thing what you need to do is try and track it immediately via another device that is online so the best thing to do is just get hold of a windows pc maybe at your home or your friend's place or whatever it is and uh, try and track it it gives you better access to all the features on the tracking application called find hub so get hold of a windows pc and immediately type in uh, find hub and get to the application and log in with any one of those email addresses that was on the lost or stolen phone that you're trying to track. Any one of those email addresses would do because these days it's not just one email address that we use on our Android device. We may use two or three, whatever. Use any one of those email addresses, no problem. So click on devices and you're gonna see a list of devices that is attached to that specific phone or that specific email address. So select the device that you are trying to track and then within a few seconds or a moment or two, you are going to see the location for your phone. Now, this could be the current location of your phone or the last location. But most probably, when Find Hub gives you a location pin like this, it mostly means that your phone is actually still there. So you could try and go and see at this location. You could click on the pin and you're going to get coordinate details, location, address and everything. Get back to this place and try to see if you could get your phone back. If you get your phone back, well and good. You know you got your phone what i would suggest to do is go ahead and secure your device so you could click on secure device you get a pop-up like this you click on secure device out here on this pop-up and what is going to happen is that your phone is going to get locked with a pin or a pattern that you actually remember but if you think you're not going to get back your phone you need to go ahead and at least delete your data you could go ahead and click on factory reset and if your phone is online it will immediately get erased now, when I say erase, it means whatever data is synced to your Google account is going to get deleted. You also have an option to remote lock your phone. So you could click on remote lock and you get on to this page, put in your phone number and click on lock device. Now, this feature is only going to work if remote lock was on on the lost or stolen Android device. Whatever the case may be, if you select uh, secure device and uh, click on this option, even if your phone is offline, the next time your phone comes online, gets connected to the internet, your phone is going to get locked automatically. But if you have tried everything out here and you do not get your phone still, what I would suggest is get to the local authorities, get to the police station and uh, file in a missing complaint immediately. So when you file in a missing complaint, you are actually going to get an attested copy or a signed copy of the missing complaint and you could keep that document with you so that in the future, if there's any kind of a misuse for your phone, after you misplaced it, you are not going to get pulled up for it. That is very important. And I have come across a lot of requests online. I get these emails and uh, messages on my videos, you know, in the comment section. People are offering me money to track lost or stolen Android phones or Apple iPhones or iWatches and stuff like that. My friend, let me tell you one thing. I am not here to charge you fees to try and help you to get your device back i'm just here to help you for absolutely free my youtube channel is free for you whatever suggestions i give you is absolutely free i'm not going to charge you any money and if you come across any company or a person online maybe on instagram or maybe even on youtube or any other website offering you a service he is a hacker and an expert in tracking lost or stolen devices. Please don't go for such services. It is likely that you are going to get scammed. Take care, my friend.